welcome back to my channel. Today's video is another vlog and you're coming with me to get my hair cut washed and blown out and cut because it has just gotten so long in the past four months. I'm gonna introduce you to my stylist. We're gonna get some B-roll. You guys ask me so much about like who does my hair, where I get it done, how I get it done, do I get it done straight, do I get it done curly? So you're gonna get all those answers in this video, so stay tuned. And if you like videos like this, let me know. Maybe I'll take you guys like every four months to come with me to get like my hair trimmed. Let's go. Yo, look at my ponytail. Do you see how long she is? Hopefully we can like, I don't know, cut her up to here. Maybe like that much off. I get my hair cut, cut straight rather than curly just because it's just easier for me. But you know, to each its own and I'm excited because I need this haircut, but too bad it's raining outside today. So, you know I brought my bonnet because I'm gonna put it on after because we're saving this, this blowout. Hello. Good. Wait, look at my ponytail. Right? I'm like, I can't believe how long my hair got. What, the last time I saw you was four months ago? So that's really crazy. So I was like, it's time. Because now my bangs, remember we were like stressing about yeah. the bangs? Yeah. Now they're like down to here. Okay. So I think we're gonna go a little shorter today. Like, like a trim, because I want it to be long, mm -hmm. but I just wanted to keep it healthy. And like uh, like the layers that we did last time were great. I just think a little bit shorter this time. And um, let me show you if I, I have a picture. So like something like that. Yeah. Like a little more layered. So soft, yes, yes. You know, like heavy, but like basically what you did last time was great. Yeah. Maybe just a little bit more yeah. and I think it'll be good. Like, and is this like, this is not a haircut. This is just the way it was like styled, right? Yeah, okay, definitely. cool. That's my, that was my. Style like that? I'm like, Sure, if we could, that would be really that would be really awesome. Yeah, just to give it a little bit. Yeah, and I would also love to watch you do it so that I could do it at home. Yes. Yes. I got you. Okay, cool. Okay. Okay. Um, my name is Jace Lynn. I'm from San Francisco, California, and I've been doing hair for almost 10 years now. Okay, so when it comes to uh, like cutting curly hair, do you prefer to cut it straight? Do you prefer to cut it curly? Like, what is your preference? It depends it, how tight or how loose the curl is. Yours is like in between medium to really curly. So I can cut it wet with the right amount of tension. If someone is like for you, you're wearing your hair curly and smooth, like blowing it out, so you wanna give it that flexibility to do both. This gives it more of a precision shape so that she has flexibility. If someone's wearing their hair curly all the time, then yes, you wanna freeform it, understand what their regimens are at home, and then freeform cut it dry. What is your favorite part of like the hair process? Do you like the cutting part? Do you like the styling part? Do you like both of them? Um, honestly, it's the consultation because then you kind of connect with the person first, see what their hair journey has been, and then getting a feel of like where they've been with their hair and where they're trying to go. Because if you're not listening, there's no there's no point in to keep going with this person, you know? So, and you want to be real with them. I think keeping it real is like the really important. number one thing with being a hairstylist. So that's my favorite part, is connecting, building a relationship, and then understanding the hair. How many times do you recommend somebody getting a haircut or a trim throughout the year? My professional recommendation is every three to four months, just maintaining the end. So you are on the money, honey, and I'm so proud of you for coming yeah. back. Um, but yeah, just because you don't want the split ends to grow upwards, I think sometimes Sometimes people think that if I want long hair, I never have to cut it. That's so untrue. It's like the oldest hair on the head at the very bottoms. So even if it's just the dusting, I think people sometimes get traumatized from like when they tell someone to trim. So make sure your stylist is showing you exactly how much you're taking off first. That way you understand it. If you had to pick a favorite, what is your favorite curly hair product and what is your favorite like blowout straight hair product? 
My favorite curly hair product would have to be the Davinessa's Curl Gel Serum, only because the consistency of it is more lotion-y and it has a lightness to it. So it has hold, but then also has conditioning agents in it so that your hair still has bounce and can dance. For blowouts, I would say the Shia, the shoot, oh my God. I work here and I may say this wrong. <laughs> don't kill me, don't fire me. The Shu Mara's blowout um, cream and serum, it just helps keep the bounce at the end of the curl and stretches the hair out without making it feel greasy or um, have too much weight on it. Okay, so I get a lot of, I don't wanna say negative comments, but they're not too nice. Yeah because I like to wear my hair both straight and curly. Like, what are your thoughts on that as a stylist? Because everyone's kind of like, if you have curly hair, like you shouldn't put heat on it. If you have straight hair, like you should just leave it the way it is. Like, what are your thoughts as a stylist? Yeah, I mean, I think you can do both. The hair, you should have fun with it, but also being mindful of like what you're doing to it. If you're coloring your hair excessively, you're um, flat ironing it, curling it, blow drying it without heat protecting and like, the right products then of course it's gonna damage your hair you're not gonna be able to get the same bounce you got to take care of it but I think with you you take care of your curly hair you do the curly hair maintenance and then when you blow it out you're also using K18 all the good products to help rebond it so you're not damaging it so whatever the heat is doing you're filling it back in with great products so I think as long as you're staying up to date with your maintenance then you're good Pro tip, she uses a lot of like K-18, Olaplex, so she has all the top line stuff. But you also want to be mindful of the actual strand of the hair. So your hair is fine, but you have a lot of it. And so sometimes too much bonder can break the hair off. And then making sure that you're having conditioning agents to help with the bonding process. Because if it's too much bonder, the hair strand can only take so much, right? So you just want to be mindful. You see that guys? It's okay to go straight and it's okay to be curly. You just have to maintain your hair. Like don't go straight and then keep going straight and then expect your hair to bounce back. You gotta switch it up and you gotta take care of it. And I love that. Thank you for that. You're gonna save a lot of crazy DMs in my, on my Instagram. Don't be DMing my girl. See, thank you. <laughs>